And I want to begin by telling you, and especially for you guys, establish who you are in Christ. That's where you start. One of the main reasons that some fathers neglect their families is because they have allowed themselves to be consumed by their work and their careers. And for many men, they do so because they wrongly believe that that's the route to feeling worthwhile as a man. Because, you see, in male ego, the way we operate as guys, is our sense of worth comes from success and worth, achievements, accomplishments, doing something that everybody else notices and says, wow, that's significant. And that adds value to who we see ourselves in. And so for us, achievement becomes how that need for significance is gained in our lives. And that's, I have to confess, was my experience as a young father myself. I remember I was saying how that I just felt I always had to be doing something. I had this feeling time's getting away on me. Always on the move. Always be doing. And in my life, I discovered was that that drivenness came because I was pursuing a sense of worth and value through the recognition of others of my achievements and accomplishments. And that was what kind of was a driving dynamic in my life. But in a marvelous way, in the year 1980, God intervened in my life. I was taking my master's degree in Providence Seminary at that time, and I took a counseling course by a man by the name of Larry Crabb. And in it, I learned a marvelous truth. I hadn't realized this before. It was like brand new information to me. It was that my worth as a person doesn't come from the achievements that I may make, but rather from the achievements that Christ has made on my behalf. And I began to realize that because Jesus died on the cross, then he conferred to me the title of the child of God because of my faith in him, because I believed in Jesus as my Savior, and I became a child of God. And I discovered that is the basis of true worth. That's where it comes from. In 1 John 3, 1, how great is the love the Father has it lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Who am I? I'm a child of God. That's my identity. That's how I identify myself. I'm a child of God. That makes me worthwhile. I already am. Not going to be. I am. It's there already. And over the next while in my life, I changed. And it set me free to become the father that my children needed and the husband that my wife needed. I wrote a book back in 2006 entitled Not Happy How Your Marriage Can Be as part of my sabbatical from the Church in Stonewall, and it was published by Tate Publishing in Mustang, Oklahoma, coincidentally. And in the book, I said to Linda, would you write an introduction? And she did, and she made a very significant comment, and I quote, she said, the change in Henry was significant. Overnight, he moved from being a workaholic to someone who was free in Christ to work hard and yet not neglect his family. That's a, I suggest, guys, that's the most important thing. Establish your worth in Christ.